Just wanted to throw together a quick guitar video for people having trouble with the strings getting snatched in here. Sometimes these are cut into a V shape where the strings actually get pinched. And when you bend the string up to uh, make the note go high, it gets caught on this side and it doesn't float back. And then you hear the ting it goes back. It's because it's cut into a V or there's something in there. So you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get this torch cleaning kit, which has a number of things. It's like five bucks. You can go in there and you want to just actually go into each one of these with the appropriate size and make it so it's not a V. You don't want to go down and change the depth of it, but you want to make sure it's round so there's nothing pinching. And this thing will actually take off material to make it smooth out. And then you can put lead from a pencil in there or graphite powder, or in a pinch, you can use a chapstick. Um, so that will take care of that problem. Then you put your strings back on. Other problems that come up commonly are frets being too high. You can use something like this in a fret rocker to uh, find out which frets are sitting too high. Like right there is one. This is a Korean made guitar, so it's really crappy when it comes to the fret work. Um, this thing will tell you all kinds of issues with it. There you go. You got a three position, a five position. It, it can go all the way up to the high register. Um, and to fix that, you can use a tool that can focus just on specific frets if you wanted to. You can go in there and just work on the one fret, which I uh, would not really do unless it's just one. Uh, but you take something like this, a 400 grit sandpaper. Uh, this is two-sided. And you can go on the fretboard once the strings are off. You make sure it's absolutely level. That's the first thing. Um, and so to test that it's level and there's no relief in it, you can take something as thin as a CD uh, printout or some kind of piece of paper this thin and find out where the bow stops and begins. Um, so you can take that bow or relief and, and remove it from the neck, make sure it's perfectly flat with the strings off of it, and then put your 400 grit sandpaper onto something that's absolute level like this or a sandy block they sell. And uh, people will usually do it like this back and forth to get all the frets leveled down. I uh, don't recommend doing that. You should be going back and forth uh, just because when you move the sanding this way and that way, this fret and that fret end up not getting sand as much as the center and you end up causing a dip. So if you do it in a pattern that always stays on the frets, you'll be better off. Um, and another tip is to use a Sharpie or magic marker on all the frets so you can see where it's actually leveling um, until you get it down there. And then once that's done, the frets kind of square off the top, which is not good for intonation. It's terrible. Then you need something like this, which is a crowning tool, which you go up and down. Of course, you put on your block. Um, I would highly advise you tape up all the wood here with regular masking tape uh, rather than painfully going one fret at a time with something like this and going in and doing it that way. But this tool here will remove debris on either sides. So it's not a... Uh, a square, but more or less a actual rounded fret. That's what you want to do with that. And then you come behind it with other sanding papers uh, until you get it down to a nice, um, smooth, perfect finish. And then you use something such as uh, steel wool to make it high gloss. And again, you want to tape all that down uh, in between each fret the whole way through to make sure nothing happens to your neck and the back of the neck. Um, and then the last thing would be your intonation down here. You want to make sure these saddles are set. So use a digital tuner that it matches up perfectly with the harmonics there. Um, there's videos on YouTube for that. But uh, so, yeah, go to Home Depot for five bucks and get yourself one of these and uh, fix that end of it. And that's it for today. Thanks.